when they were champions of Australia. Plenty of fresh faces at Morwell Falcons with seven players in today's lineup new to the club. One of the older hands, though, is keeper Steve Mortone, whose outstanding form was rewarded with a call-up for the Socceroos recently against AC Milan. At the other end of the field is newcomer Brian Bothwell. He signed from State League club Faulkner recently. Two goals in two games is his ticket for a place in the starting 11 today. To help South Melbourne achieve that, Jim Pergolius has got Kevin Musket back from trials in England in the centre of defence. He'll be ready to push for senior Socceroos status after captaining Australia's youth team. Also, striker Angie Gutzioulis to sign from Heidelberg, though today he'll play at right fullback. The referee today is Ziggy Minch, and South Melbourne kick off playing from left to right. Such a contrast between these two sides. South Melbourne really the aristocrats amongst Australian soccer. Plenty of established players in their lineup. Six internationals, in fact, and several others waiting in the wings for their opportunity. Continuity is certainly a major feature at this club. All the players know each other's style and particular preferences. They've been together for a unit for several seasons now. New faces in the lineup, like Angie Gutzioulis, cause minimum disruption to established patterns of play. And really, by comparison, Morwell have rebuilt from the ground this season. Seven new faces today. Salakis with the first ball in to test the Morwell defence. Cleared away by Parton. And it's a free kick to South Melbourne. And it's in a dangerous position because Peter Salakis is coming over to line things up. Especially dangerous because the gale force wind that's blowing around Middle Park today is right behind him. Mortone will be very watchful. Six players in the wall. Bitsianis is also over it as well. Takes it, Bitsianis. Took it quickly. Mortone not ready, but he really didn't need to be with the shot going high and wide. Well, Bobby McLaughlin, the Morwell Falcons coach, still very much at the drawing table to find his best combination. In fact, as a unit, they're, they're yet to train together with all their new players in the squad. They have played matches together against Heidelberg in the first round. And there's a lot of blood coming out of the head of, it looks like Durakovic. We can see the challenge here. Bothwell it was. Pushed back Durakovic there. Didn't appear to be any foul play on behalf of Bothwell, though Durakovic really is in some trouble. Well, you can see the concern there from his teammates. Virtually the whole team is around the trainer. The Golios on his feet. Looking at possible options on the bench. I'm sure Eddie Thompson will be looking closely at this. He's, he's got his head bandaged, but it doesn't look like he's going to take any further part in the game. It takes a lot to get Mehmet Durakovic off the field, though. You can see there what a sorry state he is in at the moment. He hates going off from injury, and yet his wholehearted approach to the game lends himself to getting more hurt than some other players, perhaps. And there's a warm round of applause from the crowd here. Certainly one of the favourites in South Melbourne. Disappointment for Durakovic, but opportunities for Mike Falcanis in the heart of the South Melbourne defence. Hassler to take the free kick. High ball in, Canosa up high. Plenty of height in the Morwell defence. Trimboli putting in Bucianis in behind. And Douglas just lets it run out for a goal kick. Tulis. And the 
line looking for Bothwell. Musket clears for South Melbourne. And that's uh, out jumping Awara Tifi. That'll be an interesting battle here this afternoon. Good ball out wide. Good seal is getting forward. Plenty of room for him too. Can line up a good cross. It's a dangerous ball in at Salakis was the man he aimed for. Gutiannis with the throw. He's backing off. It's got to be a long throw. Waratipi's in there. Wade will be the man to flick on, and he does flick on to Armstrong. Good touch. Salakis in space on the right, and that's who Musket has found. It's a great ball from Kevin Musket. Good flick on from Trimboli. Away by Parton. Still not clear, though. Hassler, plenty of room to line one up, Gary Hassler, and he does, and there's plenty of players in there, and it's a penalty to South Melbourne. More well players all around the referee, so he didn't hesitate at all to give a penalty there. Hassler took the shot. Where the free kick was for the foul on it looks like Buzianis. There's certainly no hesitation. And there's problems off the ball with Kanossa and Awaratipi here. The referee had to have a chat to Kanosa, but it's Salakis who will take the penalty. Peter Salakis. Great save, more time. Save from Steve Mortone. Guessed right and held onto the ball well. And Peter Salakis, the dead ball expert. Outsmarted there by Mortone. He guessed right. And it was a good save. Well, Hassler beating him on this occasion. Calls for a free kick, that was a fair header. To stop its time now, just before half time. Can Morwell salvage something from this first half? Bothwell. Back to Geary. Cross comes in. A good ball too. But underneath it was Astanisiadis. Certainly the height disadvantage from Orwell. Not doing them any favours there. It was a good ball in though. And the half-time whistle is blown. And blown is the appropriate word because it's been a strong gale force wind that has dominated conditions here at Middle part. Steve Mortone, the hero in the first half for Morwell Falcons. A brilliant penalty save after Peter Salakis blasted the ball down to his left-hand side. South Melbourne certainly have the territorial advantage in the first 45 minutes. Morwell, to their credit, have done well, though. A new side still finding their feet, and they will be happy to go in at half-time with the score at South Melbourne nil, Morwell Falcons nil. Closely for news on Mehmet Durakovic. Second half back underway now. These two sides have played each other four times at this level. Orwell's first season in the NSL last year, of course. South Melbourne have won all four games, scoring 14 goals in the process and conceding just three. So they really are the overwhelming favourites here today, though they could be up against it now. Orwell have a strong win behind them in this second half Sturgeopolis for Trachevsky loses out too quick for Vesco Trachevsky good ball for oh, and Waratifi's gone down and that's a free kick to South Melbourne just outside the 18 yard box and Douglas is in trouble, that's a yellow card for him you see here the through ball for Trimboli 
that was the well it was fairly innocuous and there's some incident happening in the goal square now as Morton and Batianis face up to each other Canossa and Awaratifi having a go as well that's been behind the scenes for most of today's game Meanwhile, the Morwell wall tries to arrange itself. Gutiannis, Tassios, Salakis, they can all strike the dead ball. The referee not happy with the wall. Rigolios Samba. They're ready, Butianis. A couple of steps closer to the ball. Kombutianis. And that's another booking. And this time it's for Sean Parton. And that's for encroaching too quickly. The more world defence are certainly learning the hard way here. Ziggy Minch not hesitating to wield the yellow. And they're still not out of danger. Salakis might have a go this time. Here's Butianis. Drives it this time. Brilliant save, Mortone. And it's gone in. And South Melbourne have hit the front. And it looks like Paul Wade is the man who got the final touch. I see it clearly now. Butianis drove it this time. And it was actually another Paul, Paul Trimboli just lobbing Steve Morton brilliantly that was the first save it passed Oratifi and there the deflection in the end off a defender well a category of errors for Morwell there but it doesn't really matter anyway because so no one have hit the front Pergolios is happy now that his side has hit the front. There was some concern after the first 45 minutes, dominating for so long. Not getting the desired result. Kuczewski goes down. Takes over. Too many blue shirts for him there. And Gutiolis now. And Awaratifi, he's got men out left. And that's who he finds in Trimboli. More well are stretched here, and Butianis has gone through. Hung Butianis on his left foot, fires it across the goal. And it's still not out. Salakis picks it up over the head of Awaratipi. Butianis is down in the 18-yard box. Parton. Straight to Gutiulis. He certainly looks like an attacking player playing at a fullback engine, Gutiulis. Whenever he gets the ball, he's prepared to take his man on. That's a corner, well played, from the ex-Heidelberg player. Butianis will come across to take it. He's still not moving freely, Kombutianis. post and there's Trimboli again and this time it's gone in directly and Paul Trimboli it's amazing how many hitters this man can score and Trimboli smiles a near post corner all on his own really flicked on and nothing that Sunny Seven could do on the line for Morwell really not up to scratch there and South Melbourne to 2-0 up
Krzyzewski. Well, well, we'll certainly have to push forward now. Just recovers well. Salakis back to Maskus. It's all or nothing for Morwell now. This is a cup situation. And Canossa for the Morwell Falcons. Melbourne now that the two goals up are really very comfortable with things because Tassios is coming through now. Players in there, Trimboli, even too high for him. Luciana, back to Trimboli, he'll take his man on, it's a good ball in. Salakis, it was who it was aimed for, but good defending from Douglas of Morwell. Marcus will take the corner. Wade goes to the near post. That's who it was aimed for. Gutiérrez is down again. I just wonder if it's a recurrence of that injury he had earlier on in the game. So he seems to be holding the side of his face. The incident seemed to be during the last corner. Lutzianis doesn't look happy. They've got another substitute tool to be used. Alex Kiritsoglu is South Melbourne's second substitute. He's now warming up. He's still moving extremely slowly. feet that's a welcome sight for the South Melbourne supporters just to check from the referee that he's okay to carry on First touch, good ball too. A good play from Sturgeopoulos, and well, not a bad effort either from Marcus Sturgeopoulos. Certainly got the look of a man who means business. Nilo with his first touch, Sturgeopoulos skipped past Musket there. Hammered a shot in, but only just cleared the crossbar of Anastasiados. It's a nice play. Armstrong. Straight into Pizzoulis, and Awaratifi is just on side. He's on his own though. Moore will have plenty back. Salakis is supporting. Michael Vakanis is this, who's come forward from centre back. Tassios. Still Tiv Tassios on his own. Looking for the penalty though. No hint of any such decisions from the referee. corner to South Melbourne. Moratifi going there. Wade is the target this time. He's won it poor Wade. Trimboli. Finally cleared by Douglas. Here's Brian Bothwell. We haven't had much chance to see what he can do today. He's been very limited to balls when he's been surrounded by defenders. And that's well kept in by Salakis. And there's a Waratifi. His long legs almost managing to pull down a very high cross. Tascos has got Salakis outside. Another cross from Salakis this time. 
not as effective as the previous one. losing their markers in the centre of midfield. The sort of room you could give the South Melbourne players. Men like Steve Tassios will take advantage of that. Armstrong flicked on, out jumped his taller opponent, Valkanis. Flag went up by the linesman for handball, though it wasn't given by the referee. And South Melbourne make their second change. Gutianis has to go off under several injury clouds there. One in the face he gathered earlier on. And Alex Kiritsoglu takes his place in the forward line, so it's a striker for a striker. Wade. Tassios has to go back. Hassler. Looking for Trimboli. Mike Valkanis. Waratifi making the run. As ever, they're tracked by Kinoso. He's kept Waratifi quiet for much of the game, though he's capable of gleaning something from nothing on Waratifi. So this kick from Nilo. All will play themselves out well. season which saw them sixth position just outside the main group of clubs and there really was talk of perhaps more on making the finals playoffs last year they really did slip up in the second half of the season though they fell away to finish in 12th position but they had the potential to really pull some upsets last year Good control from Trimboli on the chest. Bothwell. Good turn from him. Good seal is coming back though. Still Brian Bothwell. Well played Bothwell. And he did well to win a free kick there. As ever he was outnumbered. He certainly had to produce something from scraps of play Brian Bothwell. He scored in both Morwell's games so far this season, as has Lachlan Armstrong. There really is a Scottish feel to the Morwell Falcon side. Armstrong and Bothwell, both born in Scotland. Bobby McLaughlin, the coach, of course. Perhaps they have the advantage in the team tools. Alcanis, oh, good job. Here's Armstrong, though. Nilo, chance to shoot. One Nilo, good block from Hassler. Do or die effort from him, and as always, when asked in that situation, 
Kasper responds with everything he's got. And now Salakas comes forward. Tassios. Tassios again. This time he's got a chance to turn his man. Trimboli beats Sturgeopoulos. Hassler. Opportunities there. And the Morwell defence pushed up very quickly. A Warren Tiffy and Tassios both outside there. this afternoon a good ball into a Waratifi Salakis that wide is good Seulis South Melbourne has ever very patient in their attacking build up they're prepared to work the ball from side to side until the opening occurs they didn't have a chance to in this occasion though really limited to just clearing the ball and preparing themselves for the next South Melbourne onslaught. Muscat squeezing the ball through with some difficulty though. Nosa shadowing Awaratifi and does his job well, Claudio Canosa. Awaratifi's not given up yet though. Georgiopoulos. Well played, Bothwell. Good ball to Lachlan Armstrong. Looking for some support. He's found Bothwell in the centre. A clever turn. Could see him through. That's what he was looking for. But well played with Belkanis and Musket. Oh, so close to putting a Waratifi through there. And he's been put through now. By Trimboli. Waratifi curls it. just a bit far from him and look at that from Francis Awaratifi Nilo and back challenged well by one Nilo is the only moving player. Wade. Trimboli got a Waratifi. That's who he looked for. He was the only man in space. Douglas was aware of that. And Bothwell. Chasing hard. Well played, Valkanis. That's brilliant play from the youngster. Outstanding play, Valkanis. He stays forward. Tessios was too far forward. Well, sad news for South Melbourne with Mima Durakovic going off after two minutes. Could be serious too. We'll await to hear in the future the outcome of any tests that are taken by Durakovic in the hospital. But really, Mike Valkanis has been outstanding. And here's Paul Wade. Maybe can he finish it off? And it's gone in, and it's an own goal. And sympathies for Claudio Canosa. 
because the Morwell defender has made it 4-0 for South Melbourne. Good ball from Tassios. There was Paul Wade. He's trying to flick it on and Canosa coming back, just stuck out of foot. And to his team's mate, he diverted it past Steve Morto. That was Wade's ball, he was looking for a Waratifi. Certainly not for Canosa. And not much the Argentinian defender could do about that. salvage. Not much at the moment because Muscat's coming forward. Not a lot of players with him though. Waratifi is one. And outside is Alec Kiritsoglu. Keeps the ball in. Tassios. Morwell and Disarray at the back here. Salakis with the back here. Botwell clashing, and they're squaring up to each other, and the linesman had a good look at that, and the referee spotted it as well. Botwell may be lucky not to find himself there in the yellow. Look at that after the ball had gone, and good Steelers turned around to see what was going on. Botwell lucky not to be booked there. to get something from this game. The first one almost got past Anastasiadis and the second one was a brilliant save at Point Blank. <laughs> Gary Hassler looks for Trimboli. On the difficult conditions, Trimboli has shown immaculate first touch today. Douglas clears. Musket in very high and very hard too with the studs up. Play on, says the referee. Trimboli threading it through for Tassios. Pulling it back. And here's Salakis. Somehow the ball well defense has cleared the ball. And Trachewski has possession for the Falcons now. And Salakis looked like making it five there. He drove the ball. And Hassler to Tassios. And it's almost like a training run for South Melbourne. As they come forward again, a Waratifi on the left. Faced by Park. Kurt Sogley making the run in, and that's who he aimed for, and it's Morton. And he's missed it, and so did Paul Wade. in the last 20 minutes the Morwell Falcons defence has been under so much pressure and they finally buckled recently with three goals in the last 15 minutes is there time for more or Waratifi thinks so Way trying to keep them going in the centre of midfield Tassios, as ever, always willing to make those forward runs. As is Wade, and that's brilliant from the Socceroo captain. He's got plenty of time to line up his cross. He's gone fast. Salakis all the way back to Trimboli on the left foot. And 
It's just a move earlier on. But Salakas had a clear shot at goal. It was a good save in the end from Wartone. He didn't know a lot about it after he cleared it. His defenders did the rest there. And it was Justin Geary who finally cleared things away before Wade could get in. Plenty of powerful shooting we've seen today from Salakas. Out jumped by Geary. Here's Wade. I wore a Tiffy, too many red shirts. He'll be happy today, Francis Awaratifi. Because he scored the goal of the game just a few moments ago. was to cut in from the right hand side after a good through ball from Paul Trimboli with his left foot into the top left hand corner. Paul Trimboli scored two other goals though there was certainly a feel that one of them came off a more well defender. He's played well though in midfield today Paul Trimboli. The fourth goal for more well was for South Melbourne was an own goal from Claudio Canosa and he really wilted under the pressure that was applied by the South Melbourne players in the second half today. Brilliant result for South Melbourne. They march on to the semi-finals of the League Cup. 